Identification. This is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 5. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6. Unit 1, Lesson 5. Produced by Marseille Asad. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north, hello, to the south, hello, from the east. That's good, everyone. Hello, students. Welcome to Grade 6 English Radio Program. I am Samuel. I am your English radio teacher. I will stay with you the whole year. Hello, Samuel. Teacher, please encourage the students to respond. Obang, please introduce yourself to the students. Okay. Hello, students. I'm Obang Ujuru. I'm from Gambella. I'm a grade 6 student. The students, say, hello, Obang. Hello, Obang. Again, students, say, hello, Obang. Hello, Obang. Students, ask Obang, Say, where are you from? I am from Gambella. Again, students, ask Obang. Say, where are you from? I am from Gambella. Uh, students, where is Obang from? He is from Gambella. Uh, students, say, he is from Gambella. He is from Gambella. Again, students, say, he is from Gambella. He is from Gambella. Obang, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two brothers and three sisters. Uh, students, ask Obang, say, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two brothers and three sisters. The students, how many brothers and sisters does Obang have? He had three brothers and three sisters. Students, say, he has two brothers and three sisters. He has three brothers and three sisters. Jelani, it's your turn. Please introduce yourself to the students. Hello, students. I'm Jalani Chamada. I'm grade 6 students like you. I'm from Nadrit. Students, say hello to Jalani. Hello, Jalani. Students, ask Jalani. Say, where are you from? 
I am from Nadrid. Students, where is Jelani from? She's from Nazareth. Students say she is from Nazareth. She is from Nazareth. Again, students say she is from Nazareth. She is from Nazareth. Jelani, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three brothers and three sisters. Students, ask Jelani, say, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three brothers and three sisters. Students, ask Jelani, say, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three brothers and three sisters. Again, students, ask Jelani. Say, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three brothers and three sisters. Students, how many brothers and sisters does Jelani have? She has three brothers and three sisters. Students say she has three brothers and three sisters. She has three brothers and three sisters. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. <music> teacher, please let the students come to the front and introduce themselves to the class. For example, a student may say, I am Abrahat Gabramedin. I am a grade 6 student. I am from Adua. I have three brothers and three sisters. My mother's name is Letai, and my father's name is Gabramedin. And so on. Please call as many individual students to the front as you can. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin.
Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now let's sing the song. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? We are all in the school from Monday to Friday. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? Hello, everyone. How are you? Let's sing again. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? We are all in the school from Monday to Friday. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? Hello, everyone. How are you? How are you? We are glad. That's very good, everyone. Obang and Jalani. Now we will practice asking each other about what we are wearing today. Students, you also listen. Okay. Jalani, what are you wearing today? I am wearing a long blue dress. Students, ask Jalani. Say. What are you wearing today? I am wearing a long blue dress. Again, students, ask Jelani. Say, what are you wearing today? I am wearing a long blue dress. Students, what is Jelani wearing today? She is wearing a long blue dress. Students, say, she is wearing a long blue dress. She is wearing a long blue dress. Mobang, what about you? What are you wearing today? I am wearing a short-sleeved green shirt. Students, ask Mobang. Say, what are you wearing today? I am wearing a short-sleeved green shirt. Students, what is Obang wearing today? He is wearing a short-sleeved green shirt. Students, say, he is wearing a short-sleeved green shirt. He is wearing a short-sleeved green shirt. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. For your final activity, please call a pair of students to come to the front at a time and have them ask and answer each other about what clothes they are wearing today. For example, one of the students in a pair may ask, What are you wearing today? The second student may respond, I am wearing a long sleeve pink dress. And so on. Please. Call as many pairs of students to the front as possible. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. 
You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6. Unit 1, Lesson 5. Produced by Marseille Asafa. Identification. This is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 6. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 6, produced by Marseille Asad. I can speak to you, you can speak to me, I can speak to you, you can speak to me, English for Ethiopia. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north, hello. Good, everyone. Mobang, what are you wearing today? I am wearing a sweater. Students, ask Obang. Say, what are you wearing today? I am wearing a sweater. Students, ask Obang again. Say, what are you wearing today? I am wearing a sweater. Students, what is Obang wearing today? He is wearing a sweater. Again, students, what is Obang wearing today? He is wearing a sweater. Students, say, he is wearing a sweater. He is wearing a sweater. Again, students, say, he is wearing a sweater. He is wearing a sweater. Obang, what color of sweater are you wearing today? I am wearing a gray sweater. Students, ask Obang, say, what color of sweater are you wearing today? I am wearing a gray sweater. Again, students, ask Obang. Say, what color of sweater are you wearing today? I am wearing a gray sweater. Students, what color of sweater is Obang wearing today? He is wearing a gray sweater. Students, say, he is wearing a gray sweater. He is wearing a gray sweater. Again, students, say, he is wearing a gray sweater. He is wearing a gray sweater. Obang, what is your sweater made of? It is made of cotton. Students, ask Obang, say, what is your sweater made of? It is made of cotton. Students, ask Obang. Say, 
What is your sweater made of? It is made of cotton. Again, students, ask or bang. Say, what is your sweater made of? It is made of cotton. Students, what is Obang's sweater made of? It is made of cotton. Again, students, what is Obang's sweater made of? It is made of cotton. Again, students, what is Obang's sweater made of? It is made of cotton. The students say it is made of cotton. It is made of cotton. Again, students say it is made of cotton. It is made of cotton. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, please have the students be in pairs and let them ask and answer each other about their clothes using the what is wearing, what color is it, and the what is it made of question forms. For example, one of the students in a pair may ask, What is Toru wearing? The second student may respond, She is wearing a dress. Then the first student may ask, What color is it? The second student may respond, It is a yellow dress. The first student also asks, What is it made of? Then the second student may respond, It is made of cotton. And so on. Do the activity by calling as many pairs of students to the front as possible for about two and a half minutes. You may begin. Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now, let's sing the song.
Let's sing again. Our clothes have names and colors. They are purple shirts and blue skirts. They are green shirts and red shirts. That's very good, everyone. Students, now we'll practice order of the adjectives. When I tell you jumbled adjectives with a noun, you will tell me the correct order of the adjectives. Students, you also try. Okay. Teacher, please explain the instructions to the students. Jalani, you try first. Listen. A long dress blue. A long blue dress. Students, you also try. Listen. A long dress blue. A long blue dress. Again, students, listen. A long dress blue. A long blue dress. Students, say a long blue dress. A long blue dress. Again, students, say a long blue dress. A long blue dress. Obang, it's your turn. Listen. Nice blouse yellow. Uh, a nice yellow blouse. That's very good, Obang. Students, listen. Nice blouse yellow. A nice yellow blouse. Again, students. Nice blouse yellow. A nice yellow blouse. Students, say a nice yellow blouse. A nice yellow blouse. Again, students, say a nice yellow blouse. A nice yellow blouse. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, please call girl number one to come to the front. Girl number one, listen. An old t-shirt torn. Again, girl number one, listen. An old t-shirt torn. Girl number one, please respond. Say an old torn t-shirt. Girl number one, please respond. Say an old torn t-shirt. Again, girl number one, say an old torn t-shirt. Again, girl number one, listen. A brown strap leather. Girl number one, please respond. Say, a brown leather strap. Again, girl number one, say, a brown leather strap. Thank you, girl number one. Please go back to your seat. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, have the students be in pairs and do exercise three of page six, filling the blank spaces with suitable adjectives to make the phrases meaningful. Next, Ask each individual student
to tell you the correct expressions. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6. Unit 1, Lesson 6. Produced by Marseille Asafa. Identification. This is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 7. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 7, produced by Marseille Hassan. I can speak to you, you can speak to me, I can speak to you, you can speak to me, English for Ethiopia. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Seeing everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north. Good, everyone. Obang and Jalani. Today, we'll practice talking about what different articles of clothing are used for. Students, you also try. Okay. Obang, what is an umbrella used for? An umbrella? Yes, an umbrella. An umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. Students, ask or bang. Say, what is an umbrella used for? An umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. Again, students, ask or bang. Say, what is an umbrella used for? An umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. Students, what is an umbrella used for? An umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. Students, say, an umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. An umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. Students, say, an umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. An umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. Again, students, say, an umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. An umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. Jalani. What is a jacket used for? A jacket is used for keeping oneself warm. Students, ask Jelani. Say, what is a jacket used for? A jacket is used for keeping oneself warm. Again, students, ask Jelani. Say, what is a jacket used for? A jacket is used for keeping oneself warm. 
O Wang, what are sunglasses used for? Sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. Students, ask O Wang. Say, what are sunglasses used for? Sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. Students, ask O Wang. Say, what are sunglasses used for? Sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. Again, students, ask or bang. Say, what are sunglasses used for? Sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. Students, what are sunglasses used for? Sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. Again, students, what are sunglasses used for? Sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. Students, say, sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. Sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. Again, students, say, Sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. Sunglasses are used for protecting the eyes from bright sunshine. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, please have a pair of students to come to the front at a time and let them ask and answer each other about what different articles of clothing such as a jacket, an umbrella, sunglasses, and a watch are used for using the what, is, or are used for question form and have them respond using the used for sentence pattern. For example, one of the students in a pair may ask, What is an umbrella used for? The second student may respond, An umbrella is used for protecting oneself from rain and sunshine. And so on. Do the activity by calling as many pairs of students to the front as possible for about two and a half minutes. You may begin.
Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now let's sing the song. Let's sing again. Jelani. Let's continue practicing saying what different articles of clothing are used for. This time, when I tell you the word that refers to the article of clothing, you will tell me what it is used for using the is used for language pattern. Students, you also try. Okay. Teacher, please explain the instructions to the students. Thank you, teacher. Jelani, listen. Shoes. Shoes. Shoes are used for protecting your feet from getting injury. That's very good, Jelani. Students, what about you? Listen. Shoes. Shoes. Shoes are used for protecting your feet from getting injured. Students say, shoes are used for protecting your feet from getting injury. Shoes are used for protecting your feet from getting injury. Obang, it's your turn. Listen. Handkerchief. Hmm. A handkerchief is used for cleaning the face. That's very good, Obang. Students, listen. Handkerchief. A handkerchief is used for cleaning the face. Students, say, a handkerchief is used for cleaning the face. A handkerchief is used for cleaning the face. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, please call girl number one to come to the front. Girl number one, listen. Belt. Again, girl number one, listen. Belt. Girl number one, please respond. Say, a belt is used for tightening clothes. Again, girl number one, say, a belt is used for tightening clothes. Girl number one, listen, hat. Again, girl number one, listen, hat. Girl number one, Please respond. Say, a hat is used for protecting the head from sunshine. Thank you, girl number one. Please go back to your seat. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, have the students be in pairs and practice saying what different articles of clothing are used for. Encourage one of the students in the pair to call out the word that refers to article of clothing and let the other one say what it is used for. For example, as the first student calls out the word a jacket, the second responds 
A jacket is used for keeping oneself warm. And so on. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 7, produced by Marseille Asafa. Identification. This is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 8. English for Ethiopia. English for Ethiopia. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 8, produced by Marseille Asset. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north. Obank, let me introduce you to my friend Samira. Okay. Samira, please introduce yourself to Obank. He is my classmate. Hello, I'm Samira Siraj. Hi, I'm Obank Ujulu. Where are you from, Obank? I am from Gambella. You? I am from Jimma. What are you wearing? I'm wearing Wendakti. Can you see it? It's like a skirt. This is worn by Oroma women. What do men wear? Men wear waya. That is very beautiful. Thank you, Obank. Students, ask Samira. Say, where are you from? I am from Jimma. Again, students, ask Samira. Say, where are you from? I am from Jimma. Students, where is Samira from? She's from Jimma. Again, students, where is Samira from? She's from Jimma. Students, say, she is from Jimma. She is from Jimma. Again, students, say, she is from Jimma. She's from Jimma. Students, ask Samira. Say, what are you wearing today? I am wearing a skirt. Again, students, ask Samira. Say, what are you wearing today? I am wearing a skirt. Students, what is Samira wearing today? She is wearing a skirt. Again, students, what is Samira wearing today? She is wearing a skirt. Students, say, she is wearing a skirt. 
She is wearing a skirt. Again, students, say she is wearing a skirt. She is wearing a skirt. Students, ask Samira. Say, what do men wear in your area? Men wear waya. Students, what do men wear in Samira's area? Men wear waya. Students, say, men wear waya. Men wear waya. Again, students, say, men wear waya. Men wear waya. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, please let the students be in groups of four or five and have them discuss what cultural clothes men and women wear in their area. Next, invite volunteer groups to tell the class what men and women wear in their area coming to the front. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin. Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now, let's sing the song. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? We are all in the school from Monday to Friday. Hello, children. How are you?
in doubt, boys at school in that home. Hello everyone, have a good day, have a good day. Students, Jalen is talking with her friend Lelise about clothes that they wear during Lelise's birthday. Listen. Hello, Lelise. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jalen. It looks smart in that long blue dress. Thank you. You also look nice in that mini skirt. Thank you. My parents are preparing a birthday party for me this weekend. I'm inviting you to the party. Thank you. Can I come with my parents? Yes, of course. You cannot leave them behind. What should we wear? You're free to wear anything, but I would rather you wore traditional Ethiopian clothes. I'm going to inform my parents about it. I will wear my Ethiopian tebab. Please do. You should not miss the occasion. We will wear different traditional clothes. It will be a fashion show. Students, listen to the dialogue one more time. Hello, Lelise. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jalni. It looks smart in that long blue dress. Thank you. You also look nice in that mini skirt. Thank you. My parents are preparing a birthday party for me this weekend. I'm inviting you to the party. Thank you. Can I come with my parents? Yes, of course. You cannot leave them behind. What should we wear? You're free to wear anything, but I would rather you wore traditional Ethiopian clothes. I'm going to inform my parents about it. I will wear my Ethiopian tebab. Please do. You should not miss the occasion. We will wear different traditional clothes. It will be a fashion show. Students, ask Jeleni. Say, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a long blue dress. Again, students. Ask Jeleni. Say, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a long blue dress. Students, what is Jeleni wearing today? She's wearing a long blue dress. Students, say, she's wearing a long blue dress. She's wearing a long blue dress. Again, students, say, she's wearing a long blue dress. She's wearing a long blue dress. Obang, what does Lelise prefer anyone to wear during her birthday party? She'd rather anyone wore traditional Ethiopian clothes. Students, what does Lelise prefer anyone to wear during her birthday party? Should rather anyone wore traditional Ethiopian clothes. Again, students, what does Lelise prefer anyone to wear during her birthday party? Should rather anyone wore traditional Ethiopian clothes. Students, say, should rather anyone wore traditional Ethiopian clothes. Should rather anyone wore traditional Ethiopian clothes. Again, students, say, should rather anyone wore traditional Ethiopian clothes. Should rather anyone wore traditional Ethiopian clothes. Teacher, please tell students that would rather is always followed by the object plus past simple verb and means prefer. Use as many examples as you can. You have 20 seconds. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, have the students be in pairs and rehearse the dialogue, which is on page 10 of their textbooks. 
Let one of the students take turn to be Halima and the other Roba. Next, invite a pair of students at a time and encourage them to act out the dialogue in front of the class. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6. Unit 1, Lesson 8. Produced by Marseille Asafa.